Hello and happy Tuesday. It is March 28th. I am MJ and this is a general reading for the collective. Today I'm using my Guardian of the Night Tarot. This is my deck that's published by Hay House. And as you already know, if you ordered your deck directly from me, the creator of Guardian of the Night, oops, um, I'll have to shuffle that again. <laughs> Um, I will send along some goodies as well as sign your deck. And I'm sorry I missed you yesterday. Yesterday was just one of those days, crazy, crazy start to the week. But here we are today and let's talk about what we have going on energetically speaking. I'm just going to give this another pass. Alrighty. It's harder to do that with bigger cards. Okay. So we're going to start off here with the energy that's influencing us. That's the energy that's impacting our mood, our decisions, how we relate with one another. And then we're going to take a look at the situation and we'll see how that influencing energy plays a role in the situation. Then we're going to call upon the uninvited house guest. That is the external influence and we'll see how they come in and what do they contribute to our situation. And then we'll wrap it all up here with some words of advice. Okay, let's dive in. So we start off here with this energy of the two of swords. And you can see here this little froggy is a little hesitant, right? It's clinging onto that sword. It doesn't know what's underneath. It might think, you know, that there is some trouble down here. There might be some lizards in the lake that are looking to eat it. We're influenced by this energy of the two of swords. We're not ready to just jump on in. We might let fear kind of hold us back a little bit because there's a sense of uncertainty. There's a sense that there could be a risk. We're not quite sure. And because there isn't enough information, you know, we might be, we might not be so keen to commit to something or to um, put ourselves out there. We're, you know, we're, we want to kind of protect ourselves in some ways as well. And we, we basically just want to ensure that um, we don't put ourselves in a situation that's any worse than where we are right now. So having this energy influencing us today, we'll see how that plays out. We'll see how, you know, how that impacts the situation because we're not really ready to take a leap of faith here. Even though that frog has those big frog legs, it's, it's keeping them pretty contained. It's not ready to jump. Um, and you know, it, and you can see here, it kind of limits what it can get. You can see the flies kind of going around the, the water here because it can't really move too much. It's too, it's, it, you know, it, it's too scared to move itself in any way. And so with that, it, you know, it's pretty limited to what is within its range. All right. So the situation here. We have, look at this, we have this energy of the three of pentacles. So this is where, you know, we can lean on other people. Perhaps we can um, have, if our, if our ability is uh, not up to snuff, right? If we're, if we're not feeling like, oh, you know, we have all that we need to achieve a goal. This is a great time to connect with other people who share a similar interest or who have a, a similar desired outcome in mind so that when you team up with them you're not just you know you're not just working with somebody else you're working with somebody else who is also equally passionate about the goal and their their skills complement your skills and vice versa here. So here comes the situation to team up with somebody and that might you know and oh God oops with this in with this influencing energy you might be hesitant you know to perhaps connect with a group that is willing to put in this work with you um you might kind of keep your your um your emotions in check you might not be so willing to um to fully give of yourself to this group and that's what's going to be required here in this situation. Whatever the situation is, your participation is going to be needed because you all need to come together equally. And if you're kind of like on the fence, if you're if you're blocking yourself from enjoying what we have going on here with this three of pentacles because you're not comfortable yet or you're not sure enough yet, 
um, if you don't have enough information. And because of that, you know, you'd rather just sort of like hang off to the side a little bit. Not only are you going to jeopardize your success in this situation, but you might actually jeopardize that of the, the this group here that's coming together. So let's see who's showing up as the uninvited house guest. And again, you know, that influencing energy is literally just there to influence us. It's not, it doesn't tell us how we have to behave. It's just bringing an awareness to you saying, hey, you know, if you are feeling hesitant about jumping in, you might need to examine if you are blocking your emotions in some way, or if you're blocking yourself from fully engaging with this group because of fear, um, because you're not ready to commit perhaps to something or to someone. And because of that, um, you might be creating a bit of a stalemate within this relationship. Okay, so let's see who's showing up here. And if you recognize that, so I'm going to go back to this. If you recognize that, if you go, oh my God, you know what it is? Is I, It's this damn two of swords. It's influencing me. It's kind of keeping me on the sidelines instead of jumping in here where I know that success is going to occur when I team up with other people that it's destined to happen when I work with those who share a similar interest, who are passionate about something, when we all contribute our skills to a, a cause that we all believe in, we will find success. However, if you know, if you hold back out of fear, then you know, not only, like I said before, not only do you suffer the consequences, but the those around you may suffer the consequences as well. So just be aware of this two of swords influencing you. So the uninvited house guest, look who shows up again. So here comes somebody who may, with all this time kind of maybe being spent here deciding whether or not you want to jump in somebody themselves might say well you know what i need to do is take a little bit of a break um, i need to assess the situation as well so what i'm getting here from this from this situation what we have here with the two of swords influencing us and then having this energy coming in as the four of swords is that maybe everybody just needs to take a break and think about um really what the goal is here because when you do come together you'll find success but if everybody's not on the same page if um if everyone's not convinced that they need you know uh, you know that this is what needs to happen or that um their contribution will matter then it might mean that you're working against each other instead of with each other here and so however this four of swords comes in it's going to bring with it this time of inaction. It's going to bring with it this time of sort of removing yourself from the group or somebody is going to remove themselves from the group. And either way, this team here with this three of pentacles is going to be uh, broken down in some way, at least in the interim. This is not, you know, permanently. And it might benefit here. It might it might benefit that everyone sort of takes a small break to kind of regroup and gather information or gather their thoughts or get that information from their higher self before joining back in again because you'll work you'll work better as a team it'll be more cohesive when everyone's on board and there isn't second guessing and there isn't this you know this feeling like you're not really getting the information that you need okay let's see what we have here for the advice. I mean, teamwork makes the dream work, but if, if everyone is, you know, working against each other, then it makes it into a night, a nightmare. All right. So the queen of wands. What I'm getting from this advice here is to step into the shoes of the queen of wands you know focus on your health focus on your your um your your mental well-being as well you know on your mental health your physical health focus on attracting those people who um 
who want to be part of your team, you know, who might not need to take a break, perhaps, you know, who are really engaged in what you're doing and who want to share in this workload. Connect with your inner queen of wands right now, because when you do, not only will you feel better, not only will you be more open and, and creative, you'll get yourself into a, a space where you're moving forward. You're not, you're not creating stagnation or you're not creating a block. You're actually actively thinking about the future when you're in the state of the queen of wands. You're thinking about what you can do to find success and you're putting your best foot forward. You're becoming more attractive to other people as well in the state of the queen of wands because you know you are really in, like engaging and you're passionate about whatever project you want to work on here whatever the situation is that you're going to need a team to help you lean into this energy of the queen of wands if somebody is is on the fence and they're not sure give them that time let them go you know let them get that clarity if it's right for them fine but also know that, you know, with the queen here, the queen doesn't um, doesn't wait for anybody, you know? I mean, uh, she, she has her agenda. She wants things done a particular way. And she knows that she has within her that ability to manifest that which she desires by using her creativity, using her, that... Um, her essence, right? I mean, when, again, you know, I've said this before about the Queen of Wands. I think of her, when I think of the Queen of Wands, the picture of like Beyonce comes to mind. You know, here is somebody who is just beyond talented, just vivacious and outgoing and, but at the same time, driven and, su and success driven. And that is what you have here. So that's available to you to tap into, lean into this energy of the Queen of Wands today. When you do that, not only will you be more confident in perhaps expressing your ideas and um, being open to perhaps new information, you'll also connect with, with others who share a goal or who share a desired outcome and they will bring their best to the table because they too want to um, see this, this outcome not only be successful but beyond what you could have imagined. So lean into the Queen of Wands today. Whoever this Four of Swords, however that energy comes in, it could be, it could be an opportunity in some sense for you to take a break and and remove yourself for a little bit. Uh, something might come into the situation that opens up that door for you to um, to get some downtime so that you can get that download from the universe. Or it could be somebody who is coming into your situation that was initially part of this, this trio here, this, this help group that has decided that they need to take a break in some, of some sort. So much love, peace, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.